enemy's control points. Get behind me, Doctor! I am fully charged! <laughs> you are listening to Control Point, a Team Fortress 2 podcast with Brent Copeland, Eric Fullerton, Wes Wilson, and Spencer Williams. Control Point, episode 44, recorded on August 17th, 2008. I'm Eric Copeland. I'm Wes Wilson. I'm Eric Fullerton. Oh my eye! I'm Spencer Williams. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, welcome to the uh, newest episode here, episode 44. I am back. I had a terrible problem with um, pink eye, and it. Um, oh my eye! It. Uh, <laughs> My other eye caught it as well, so I had double pink eye. Oh, and my then, other uh, eye! It, uh, <laughs> it hurt me physically and mentally, but I'm back. So, uh, and I don't think you pre- appreciate you making fun of his eyes like that. Yeah. My eyes will beat you up. <laughs> oh, my eye! Oh, my God, my eye! <laughs> my eyes can beat up your eyes. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm working uh, out with carrots. <laughs> so uh, oh, uh, this week um, I've been uh, kind of you know just sick you know laying around the house and stuff and um, uh, I got a knock on the door went to the door nobody was there but there was a little uh, uh, a little carriage little thing a little baby wrapped up I guess a stork dropped him off uh, a little note said take care of him his name is Winsor Coperton oh uh, I hate ne- that guy next to it though was a little briefcase so it's like hmm, okay. I was kind of afraid to open it, so I kind of wanted to just wait until now to open it up. What? Why would you want to include us in this disaster? <laughs> well, I figure maybe there's some diapers, maybe there's some food or something for the baby, you know. So you waited a week to open it up? What has yeah. the baby been wearing and eating since <laughs> well, then? Well, the baby right? hasn't made any sound or moved or anything since then, so I don't know. I think it's okay. <laughs> well, I hope it's not like it's baby's sister. <laughs> yeah. So you want to open it up? Wes? Oh my god, you know what, Eric, you've had, what, two weeks to come up with this briefcase <laughs> gift, and this is the best you could do? I, Holy crap. I think it's the best we've heard in a while, though. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? We had the eyeball one on the ice last week. That was uh, great. Uh, that was a first class <laughs> briefcase skit. Well, o- open where? this freaking thing. Okay, I'm pointing it towards you, though. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, okay. it smells. It does. Ooh, it, there's used diapers in here. <laughs> Ugh. And it, this, they all say WC on them. And mm. these... Is that bacon I see in there? Yeah, and it's mm. laying next to busted open breast milk bags. Ew! Oh, <laughs> <God>. Yikes. <laughs> uh, but sifting through here, there are actually some useful things, such as... <laughs> you like that? Uh, there's a... Uh, there's a little novel here. It looks like some TF2 fanfic. Uh, there's lots of papers. Looks like uh, questions from listeners. Also, some uh, um, official-looking documentation straight from Valve. This is uh, these are plans on the heavy updates that we're gonna have soon. Oh yes. Um, yeah. Besides the the uh, rotting bacon and nasty used diapers. That's oh about wait, it there, there is. There is one other document in here. It's uh, it's entitled "Caring for Your New Winter Coperton." Oh, um, <laughs> yeah. I might I might get around to reading that. Maybe. Wow, this thing stinks. Put the baby in here and let's shut it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool. All right. Yum. So, Eric, uh, Eric, I think you should go first since you've got two weeks to talk about. Oh boy. And I bet those um, were very exciting TF two weeks, weren't they? Yeah, they were. Uh, let's see. I, uh, I've been sick, of course. Just, uh, I've already covered that. Um, I got a, uh, a new laptop. Uh, it's, um, pretty fancy. Uh, and, uh, I... It is pretty fancy. It's very fancy. Um, I, uh, I've been playing some WoW. <laughs> oh, and, uh, the, the, the Strong, Strong Bad's cool game for attractive people. Man, that's a good game. I've is been it, thinking about picking that up. What is it? It's um, episode one, Homestar Ruiner, right? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, 35 yeah. for the season pass. That gives you five um, episodes, which are basically just games. Um, huh. It's an old school 80s type uh, LucasArts Sierra um, point and click adventure game. Ooh. Uh, it's really funny. It's really good. Except it's home. Except it's, it's, uh, it's Strong Bad. Yeah, you play Strong Bad. And you can go to the computer, check his email. I mean, it's it's great. You can go check out Bub 
at uh, Bub's concession stand. You can go make <laughs> fun of uh, Homestar and beat him up. And is um, it by Vectronics? Um, it is. It I is. Think. I, 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 it is. Like the most recent thing I did was I stole Homestar's cell phone and then prank called all his friends pretending to be him. That's pretty good. <laughs> um, so anyway. <laughs> Um, but I haven't played any DF2. The reason is, is because, um, I, uh, it, it physically hurt me to speak because it, I didn't have strep throat, although I had, uh, I guess some sort of just allergies or whatever. Um, but, uh, I really just didn't want to talk and, uh, didn't really want to converse with other humans. So I, I so I played WoW. <laughs> um, and, uh, I don't know. I just, you know, I don't want to put a headset on and, and have to be conscious and, and speak to people and stuff. And that's really the only reason I haven't played TF2. Um, oh, my I was, God, my eyeball. <laughs> I was tempted to last night. Um, but uh, what what did I do last night? Oh, Wrath of the, Wrath of the Lich King beta. <laughs> I was I got an invite to that. So that's been kind of fun. You still need so, to join the guild on there. This is like a oh, yeah. beta wonderland in this joint. I know. We have yeah, betas seriously. everywhere. Uh, you guys are playing the Warhammer beta. You got one in the briefcase yeah. too on your doorstep. I do. Little beta, little beta person. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and you failed at it too. Oh uh, right? yeah. Uh, so uh, is that, is that I need to make a got? bug report on that one. I will be. Uh, I'll be coming back to uh, TF2 um, like uh, like crazy because of the old heavy updates coming out. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, so anyway, um, enough babbling. Anyone have a real week they want to talk about? I, had no- I do. Okay. Sort of. Go weak man. Um, do you just call me weak? Yes. Weak well, man. Weak. I'm like the superhero your of weakness. Weak oh my man. God. That's so awesome. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, this week, what happened? Um, things occurred. Uh, people died. Uh, lives were lost. Um, jobs were, I don't know. Anyway, um, <laughs> eyeball fluid. Uh, let's see. I did play some TF2 this week. I remember that I played it. I have no recollection of actually doing so, though. It's harder. Did, did I play with, did I play with you, Brent? I don't remember. Um, I, was that this week or was it last week? Yeah, we played some, yeah, one night. <laughs> I know I played, I played Dust Bowl. I remember I played Dust Bowl and I had some fun. Oh yeah, there was one moment that I did want to talk about that was really awesome. Um, we were on point two of Dust Bowl, we were on offense, and, uh, uh, we were coming up the middle of the shack to try and get their, uh, their, um, sentries on, on, on the, uh, the right side. You know what I'm talking about there? There's always sentries there. Yeah. Well, uh, we walk in and I am Ubered and given, uh, a Kritzkrieg both at the same time. And I start causing destruction. And just then a demo man sets off his charge and it blasts me all the way across the map to the left behind that little rock over there in the open where they have a little defensive knot and they have no idea that I'm there. (laughs) (laughs) So I, I am shot over their defenses and then I proceed to kill like four people. Um, and I was like, Oh my God, I'm flying through the air. Oh my God. I can kill all these people. Awesome. (laughs) So, uh, yeah, that was fun. Um, Mm -hmm. other than that, let's see. I, I did play some, um, Warhammer beta uh, with Brent, which was cool. Woo-hoo. And uh, let's see, that's pretty much it. I did pick up the uh, the pre order for um, Brothers in Arms, Hell's Highway, or something like that, so I could get the Road to Hill Thirty for free, or really just paying for it. Um, and I've been playing that a little bit, and that's fun too. And that's pretty much it. That's all I got. So well, I, I I had a okay week. Um, I I did play some TF two. Um, I played a little. Um, on uh, oh man, I can't remember what night I was playing, but uh, it, it ended <laughs> this up being is the a most night. awesome podcast we've ever done. I know, I know. Well, we uh, you got to keep in mind we just spent an hour and a half trying to fix audio problems, so <laughs> we're we're really on our game. Anyway, um, <laughs> we were playing the other night, and uh, everybody started changing their name to Wes Wilson. Have they done that before? 
Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> um, so this isn't anything new, but but it was it was funny. I, I can't remember. We we're, we're changing our names to. Um, oh yeah, I remember we were doing. Somebody changed their name to Tom Cruise in Cocktail. Nice. Um, so um, I, I I changed my name one time to um, Tom Arnold in True Lies. Nice. And then, um, <laughs> and then, oh man, there was another one. And then people were like, uh, anyway, so it was, we were all becoming actors in certain movies nice. and, That's and then, cool. um, someone was Thomas Jefferson in, in history. And then, um, <laughs> people started changing their name to Wes Wilson. And it was really funny because I was Wes, no, really Wilson and other people were. And so I would be like, Wes, I'm going to Uber you. And like, nobody knew who I was talking to. So that, that was that was kind of funny. Wow, that sounds kind of cool. And I was having a lot of fun. Um, and and I, I played for a good like three or four hours and was having a ball. And then sometime around one o'clock, something changed. Things dun, all of a sudden dun, dun. stopped becoming fun. Is it like when you got hmm. tired and started sucking really badly or well, sucking it, more? It wasn't that I was sucking. <laughs> it's that there were certain things that were no longer working, like you know, trying to defend cap points. You know, um, I, the what really what really threw my game is nobody was playing engineer on Dust Bowl. So I switched to engineer and uh, we're trying to defend cat point one and I run in and I build a cat point up top there, you know, on little rails looking down onto the point. I like it better than the corner one because it actually has a potential to stop an Ubered pyro from destroying it. Mm-hmm. Um, but. There's a very simple thing that uh, and while I'm doing that, another engineer builds up on that on that, you know, that left corner there just at the, you know, when you turn right and you look up the ramp, it's right there. And uh, I another engineer's building there. And then all of a sudden I look down and we're going and there's a heavy standing at the door shooting my gun with his his um, minigun <laughs> and no one's shooting him. So <laughs> that sucks. We're trying it. So it's two engineers defending cat point one, which, huh. you know, that's really not, that, that, that's not going to work. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, where the hell is everybody? <laughs> what happened to everybody? I, I, I really don't know. And that, really? was, that, was, that wasn't the first time <laughs> that it happened. They just kind of fell asleep on their keyboards. I have no idea, but it was like six V six and no one was there with me and the other engineer. Well, you know, one thing I've noticed a lot on, on uh, that map is a lot of times when people die off, off that first cap point, they assume that cap point's gone. Yeah. And they immediately start defending cap two. Yeah. And and so mm. and, and then, of course, as soon as cap one fell, they immediately just ran over cap point two. And I r- 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 rage quit. <laughs> and, and they weren't defending <laughs> cap two. Huh? No one was de- defending cap two. I don't know where anybody was. They were all sitting back there laughing at you. Yeah. Ba- basically, I don't I don't know what happened, but I, I rage quit. I totally did. I'm like, I'm out. That's enough of that. Dun, I dun. Plug pulled on the spot. <laughs> Click. So um, sweet. But I have also played a couple times over on uh, Stan's Lounge, which, you know, continues to be fun. And uh, my other things I did this week, I um, I've been trying to download the Warhammer beta and it's very intensive on my um, bandwidth. So I tried to look for things to play that, you know, that I could play while that was going on and it wouldn't inhibit my gameplay. Because when you, you know, when you're yanking your bandwidth to hell, you can't play TF2, you can't play right. WoW, you can't play. You can play Strong Bad. Um, well, that's cool. Well, I chose, I chose Starcraft. So I did, ah, I did, that works. I did some more Starcraft and, and, and had a good time with that. And, um, but not online. No, single not player. A single player. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I decided to, I'm, I told you a while ago, I'm replaying the campaign. So I finished my Zerg campaign, which I still don't understand what defilers are good for. I, I need to find out what defilers are good for. Um, well, they're the end of the tech tree, aren't they? Yeah. It's a little tough. Are you playing Conan anymore? Is it safe to say no one? I want, no, Conan? I want to play Conan, oh, okay. but that, I couldn't play that because that's bandwidth intensive. Oh, right. I did find out. I'm I was just wondering in general. I was billed yeah. for the next month. 
So I guess, Ooh. yeah. So I, 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 you know, I should play a little. <laughs> yeah. It does sound like Conan. I mean, has sort of fallen off the truck for just about everyone that I know yeah. that played it. Yeah, you don't hear him going. We broke a million users. Well, actually, uh, Gald uh, over at GWJ is is still playing, and and they're having a good time. And when I get on the GWJ um, vent server, there's still three or four people in there. Victor has. Yeah, been maybe it would have been more fun if people joined our guild instead of you know. You know, didn't. <laughs> you know, actually, I, I am in your guild, and I had more fun in the GWJ guild. Ooh. It was probably because they play. Yeah, yeah, because the they game play. sucks, dude. Get, no, get over it. No, it does not suck. It, well, it's fun. When you get past, what, 30, 40? I'm, I'm level 40. When you get to 50, you'll, you'll change your mind. I, I totally disagree. Unless they put in new stuff at 50, you'll change your mind. The no, only I reason you. I haven't been playing it more is because my friends aren't playing. It's the only reason I'm playing. I understand, I the but game. when you get to 50, it becomes a grind fest. I, I, like Until it 16. isn't in every other game in the world. No, it's not. Dun, dun. I don't know I'm not talking, talking about. about you do quests uh, uh, and you grind a little bit. I'm talking about you sit there and grind for six levels and nothing else. Oh, that's old school right there. I, I just don't believe you. Wait, can I interject? I think we've uh, already accrued our two minutes allotted time of talking about Conan <laughs> this episode. Uh, we can continue this one next episode. But next time on Age of Conan Cast. <laughs> uh, okay. So sorry. anyway, sorry. It was still your week, Wes. And, uh, oh, and I finished um, the Penny Arcade game. I oh. finished that one. Oh, cool. So. You liked it? I did. I had a good time with it. It's 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 got some neat stuff. It wasn't as laugh out loud funny as I was expecting. Some people were like, "Oh, it's a knee slapper," um, and yeah, there were some cute chortles in there. Um, chortles, yeah. But but on the whole, it, it mostly is like a Final Fantasy style turn based combat with a couple of interesting little twists, and it was fun. Well, I got to say, hmm. my knee is really sore from playing uh, Strong Bad. Okay, good. Good. So, I, I, I did play the uh, the Strong Bad demo, I, and I did actually catch myself laughing out loud when I started the uh, Light Switch rave. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> yeah, I bet there will be lots of good in-jokes in there, because I've seen every single... Um, uh, Episode, or Strong Bad email. Strong Bad email. Yeah. Well, uh, actually, I may have missed a couple of emails, but I've seen everything else on the website. I bought all the DVDs and, and uh, um, action figures. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just check this guy. Out. Strong bad like email. Be funny podcast. What? What? what would be funny? Do you not know what Homestar Runner is? No, I know what it is. I just never actually read anything. Uh, you don't Wes have to actually read. Got me a, uh, Wes <laughs> actually got me a. Wes actually got me a Homestar T-shirt for for was it my birthday? Or was it Christmas? I think it was Christmas. I think it was Christmas. Yes. yes. So you've forgiven him by now. Homestar wanna. <laughs> Anyway, so Brent, how about your week? Well, uh, it was awesome. Cool. What was your name during the Wes Wilson craze? I, I wasn't in there. Yes, you were. You changed your name to all of us. No. You, you when didn't? that wasn't you? I know. I've never. I thought there was somebody that changed her name to Chaos I, I, Nailhead Wes Wilson. Yeah, yeah. I don't Devil think I've Turner. ever changed my name in game. I don't believe you. I'm sorry. It's it's my lying eyes. <laughs> I'm watching I thought you, had, you. Uh, I thought you had Betty Davis eyes. I got them both, baby. Oh, okay. You you want to borrow them until you're sure I do. So uh, you know I played some TF2 with uh, apparently uh, was that you Spencer? It might have been. I I I don't know. And it was fun. Oh, I'm taking credit. Anytime I can take credit for playing some TF2, I'm doing it. So uh, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. We played some maps and uh, we killed some people and got killed some and. Um, you know, that went on for, I'm sure hours, right? Hours. We played for hours and then I, I played in the beta and, uh, emu servers and, uh, and, uh, stuff like that. And, uh, uh, but Warhammer's a lot of fun. We're going to start talking about Warhammer. <laughs> Yeah. Welcome to the Warhammer podcast. <laughs> I want to see how long it takes for someone to say that. To complain. Not, not, not yet, but you know, soon. Um, yeah, I, I, I was really glad that we finally did get some PvP in on that one that one day we played because that really does where the is where the game starts to shine. Well, well you know, and the one thing that I, I can say because it's not covered by beta, I guess. I mean, the NDA and stuff is the the difference I find in that game is I, I'm not trying to level. I mean, I am, but I'm not trying to. It's it, they've got so much content for your level, you don't feel like you have to get up to forty or or whatever to play the game. 
It's like you walk in and you're PVPing at level five and you feel like you're the highest level. Hmm. And it makes all the difference in the world. Like is, there's no feeling of grinding in it yet to me. But anyway, hmm. I've, uh, you know, I'm working. This is like my, my fifth character at this point that I'm starting from level one. I'm a little tired of the early game now, but <laughs> you know, it just, that, that happens with any game. So, uh, but that's about my week. So let's move on. Woo. Okay. That was great. Let's see what do we got up next? We got on the loud speaker news and discussions. And I've been looking yes, here discussions. at our Google doc and our, our, I, I think our Google Doc is a little screwed up because it's got a bunch of emails under on the loudspeaker. Shouldn't those go under listener contributions? Uh, I think these are more discussions because we got okay. lots and lots of questions from people. Um, well, so. the first thing that we need to talk about before we get to any of those is, of course, a heavy update, which uh, by the time this podcast is released on Wednesday will have already been out, um, and assuming that Tuesday is in fact the release date, you know, it's Valve. Give them, give them some time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but they've got this uh, nifty website up, and they've got a whole bunch of stuff coming out with the update. Um, so let's talk about that. One, one thing that's really cool that they're doing new is they're releasing uh, a tidbit of information per day. Uh, so Except uh, for today, except for on Sunday. I was a little sad about that. Yeah, that was kind of weird. Yeah, true. <laughs> Uh, so we have, uh, four bullets right now, uh, four items out of six, uh, Monday and Tuesday will be, uh, two more, uh, bits, which will already be out when this episode airs. But, uh, the first thing that they announced is, uh, a community map that's, uh, that is going to be released, uh, through this update and that is CP steel. Nice. We played it. We've, we've talked about it a little bit. Uh, we I still haven't played it really. You really? It's it? really a great map. I actually, I did play it a little bit this week, but I was so confused, and then the game ended, and I was like, huh. Well, that's it. That's what's going up? Okay, great. It is it is confusing. Um, I would recommend getting a Sigma sign to walk you around and explain it. Or you could actually listen to the episode, <laughs> Spencer, because, you know, you weren't there. Yeah, oh, I really? I don't listen to podcasts. <laughs> uh, podcasts are for suckers. I wonder if, we're gonna, I wonder if they're going to fix that problem, and they'll make it so that you auto download it. You know what I'm saying? Like, remember last time you had to delete the um, file in your in your maps directory to get the new one. I think that might have just been you. Yeah, no. that didn't happen to me. Mm, it it happened to me either. Someone else told me to do it because they huh. had, had problems as well. Did but you try I, it first? But I had to. I had to delete my. What were the maps that were fast lane? And what was the other one? That other um, one, Gold Rush? Turbine. One. Turbine. I had to turbine. delete my yeah. old version of Turbine. <laughs> oh. That I, don't, I actually me. don't think I've played Turbine since then, so I don't know. It, it, may, mm -hmm. it may have happened to me, too. Hmm. You don't think you've played uh, Turbine since the... Well, it is an old map. Play I know I haven't played Turbine since then, because honestly, I, I've played Turbine a lot, and I'm, you know, kind of yeah, done with it at this point, but way to mm. go, Valve. Um, <laughs> This uh, second bullet point. Oh, I was just gonna um, throw. Is, I was just oh, okay. gonna throw Go credit ahead. out real quick to the author of CP Steel is Fish Bus. I like yes. that name. Fish, Fish on the bus, bus. It, go which, round and round. Apparently, he has a real name, Jamie Manson, but a uh, Fish Bus in relation. Probably. And uh, so anyway, I'm, I'm gonna call him Jamie Fish Bus Manson. Cool. I'm sure that <laughs> happens a lot. Mm -hmm. But the anyway, second bullet point that they've got up is the uh, the first heavy unlockable weapon. It's his melee replacement. It is the KGB, or the Killing Gloves of Boxing. <laughs> nice, very nice. And uh, it is a pair of of a uh, of uh, of boxing gloves. And whenever he the heavy kills an enemy with the boxing gloves, he receives five seconds of guaranteed crit. Um. So do you see a lot more Ubered heavies running in with their fists? With their yes, gloves? that'll help me get that medic achievement. I, I, I honestly, I think it's going to be, um, we'll see how it turns out. I mean, the thing is, the heavy is so slow that as it stands right now, the only time I pull out my fists is when I'm in very dire straits. I, I see no reason not to have these equipped, but I don't know. I, 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 I'm wary of them i just don't think they'll change a lot of the game one thing i think they might be very useful for is if you're about to jump around a corner 
and take uh, and attack a, um, a, a, a new area. You could sit back with your gloves of boxing, wait for somebody to come around the corner and attack you, take them out, and then jump around the corner with your five seconds and blow some stuff away. The thing is, I mean, you say take them out like like it's a guaranteed thing, and, and the heavy is so slow, and the KGB have a slower swing speed, um, that getting the hits in to actually kill someone with them, I think are going to be a lot harder than people think. Mm -hmm. Perhaps, perhaps Dun dun. Yeah. I noticed they, uh, um, put all the text for all the achievements. Yeah. Uh, That's kind of, yeah. Would you like to, uh, go through these? These would actually be kind of useful for people getting, uh, getting ready to farm the achievements. You know, I've actually been (laughs) looking, Looking through these, and I think they're going to be a lot harder to farm than say the uh, the uh, the pyro ones. But um, in a, in the forums, Jazz has already figured out a map, and he's telling everyone to download it for for the big farming party. But let's go nice. through them here real quick. Um, Iron Curtain take a thousand points of damage in a single life. That'll be no no big deal. Easy. Party loyalty kill fifty enemies within three seconds of them attacking your in- your medic. Division of Labor, kill 20 enemies with a medic assisting you where neither of you die. That'll be tough in, in actual play. Um, it'll yeah. be easy to farm, but, you know, we'll see if who, who tries it without farming. Yeah. Red Oktoberfest, earn a domination for a medic who's healing you. <laughs> hmm. I, I'm pretty sure I've done that. Er, yeah. Wait, um, earn a domination for a medic who's healing you. How do you yeah, do that? that means that while a medic is healing you, and and he gets um, a point every time you kill someone. If you kill them so many times, then he gets a, a domination credit as oh, well. Oh, through assists, okay. Through assists, yeah. So I didn't, know, I didn't um, know you got domination credit through assists. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you do. Hmm. Now, this next one is interesting. Show trial, kill an enemy with a taunt. And this is the uh, same thing that the uh, the pyro got. Except, if anything, the the if if it is in fact the uh the taunt that he has when he's you know got his melee weapon and it's the uh pow taunt which is what i i bet is going to be man that thing is slow so is that yeah. when he shoots you with his fingers yeah. like he goes finger yeah. pow it's kind of okay. like the image too next to it so that one is yeah. farmable i'd say i'd say that's not oh, realistic yeah, without a doubt yeah. yeah um crime and punishment kill 10 enemies carrying your intelligence Class struggle, work with a friendly medic to kill an enemy heavy and medic pair. That happens all the time. Yeah. Soviet block while invulnerable and on defense block an invulnerable enemy's heavy an invulnerable enemy heavy's movement. Weird. That happens all the time if yeah. you're uh, playing well. That seems an awfully strange thing to detect, though. Like when they're thinking this up, I wonder what kind of new detection tools they have to write for this, and I wonder how much it bogs down the code. Yeah, yeah. Gonna, yeah. This is something you can only get on the def- defense side too. That's kind of odd. Mm. It happens a lot on Dust Bowl though, so I don't think it's really going to be that hard to get. Um, let's see. Stalin the Stalin cart. The cart. <laughs> Block the enemy from moving the payload cart twenty five times. Um, Supreme Soviet get Ubered fifty times. Factory worker kill twenty enemies while being recharged by a dispenser. Nice. <laughs> Soviet Union, get 25 enemy kills while you either assist or are assisted by another heavy. Uh, I I think that one's going to be fun to get in real play just because you don't often see heavy duos, and I think that they're fun to play with. And you'll get that first day because everyone will be heavy. So, (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) true. The the, uh, achievement on the, the image on the achievement, there's like a heavy, like the normal heavy, and then there's a heavy with hair. (laughs) <laughs> Who knows? I don't know. He kind of looks, like, a... looks like Conan. Da, da, he? Da, da. Sorry. Is that one of um, the unlockables you get to put on a toupee of death or something? <laughs> <laughs> Block spies from stabbing you or something? <laughs> Let's see. Next one. Own the means of production. Remove 20 sticky bombs by killing the demo man who produced them. That is actually a priority for me in, in regular play. So <laughs> I love I the name of that. Own the means of production. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy Ivan, kill 100 enemies while both you and your victim are underwater. That is painful. That is... 100 enemies. Holy crap. I mean, how often do you fight underwater as a heavy? Farmed. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. seriously. I mean, really, Uh, I don't... I don't know. 
It, yeah, I think it's unlikely that anyone would get that in any reasonable time frame without farming. And this next one was named after someone in our community. I got it from a good source. The people are putting our link on the website. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> they told yeah. me about this. So. <laughs> Rasputin mm. in a uh, single life gets shot, burned, bludgeoned, and receive explosive damage. Nice. Oh, wow. Uh, icing on the cake, get 20 kills on a player that you're dominating. On oh on players not on a player right oh okay. wow I, that, that's that one of the, sounded really bad yeah <laughs> croc block <laughs> <laughs> survive a direct hit from a crit rocket uh, collectivization get a thousand assists that's yep. uh, eventually that's collectible what? holy crap there's a lot of these do you get I mean do you do you get a lot of assists while you're just spraying bullets yeah okay. Yeah, because, I mean, especially in, in wide open areas when you're not focus firing on a single target, you get them all the time. Um, spyletical materialism, kill or assist in killing 10 cloaked spies. Why is that an achievement for everyone? Killing spies is an achievement for everyone. Wow. Why? I don't understand. Because everybody should kill spies. Yes. <laughs> uh, permanent revolution, kill five enemies without spinning down your gun. That's actually kind of tough if you're... Uh, Unless you've got some ammo nearby, possibly. Mm. Uh, if you tie that in with the dispenser one, I think that'll be... Yeah. I mean, if you nice get the deal. dispenser one, you've got that one, right? Mm -hmm. Of course, you don't have to be firing that whole time. You can just keep it spun up, but, you know, uh, it, you still waste ammo w with the heavy all the time. Uh, heavy industry, fire $200,000 worth of minigun rounds in a single life, and this achievement has been... Talked about in our forums a lot. Have uh, you guys seen this? I mean, like trying to figure out just how much ammo that is. Yeah, I mean, you know, in the movie, he says it cost four hundred thousand dollars to fire his minigun for twelve seconds. But as has been um, proven, his math is entirely incorrect <laughs> um, in terms of how many bullets are fired. And how quickly it is. So is it going to be according to what he said, or is it going to be according to the real math involved? I'm, I I think we'll have to can, find and, that out. And can't you just do that in the spawn room? Can't you just go ahead and shoot forever? I mean, and stand next to a, a, a supply cabinet? Yeah. And then get that achievement. So that one's farmable for sure. Oh, yeah. I mean, and some people are saying that all you have to do is sit there and fire for six seconds and you'll get it. So who knows? We'll find out. Yeah. Um, the next one, Communist Manifisto. <laughs> Kill an enemy with a critical punch. Uh, redistribution of health. Heal 1,000 damage with medikits and a single life. Holy crap. Wow. Um, that's okay. that's going to be a you don't have a medic buddy with you achievement. <laughs> yeah. Uh, rationing. Kill an enemy with your shotgun while you're out of minigun ammo. ammo. That happens all the time. Vanguard party, be the first on your team to start capturing a control point in a round. That's tough. What the hell? When would this ever happen? Ever? Um, first stage, third leg of Dust Bowl, you're the last one standing. I mean, on the third stage of Death Bowl, first leg, you're the last so you're one standing. you're suggesting that and you the run only over. time it would ever happen is if you are the only one to live that long? Yes. Okay, hmm. that makes sense. Hmm. Weird. Push in the cart. Pushkin. Get 50 cap. Wait, <laughs> Pushkin. Pushkin. You're right. But it also Pushkin says start cart. capturing a control point. So that doesn't Yeah, you mean... don't have to fully con capture it. I mean, it, it also it... makes this one really hard to, to, um, to farm because you have to start the round every time you want someone to get that achievement. Yeah. So we'll see. Well, mm. capturing a control point in a round, maybe each one, I don't know, maybe each control point. Has a different detection do we, tool. Do we need to make a map that has twenty four control points on it so everyone can go <laughs> to a different one? Yeah, Jazz will do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pushkin the cart get fifty caps on payload maps. That's just a it pay a lot of play a lot of payload. Yeah. Uh, marksman kill ten enemies in midair with the minigun. I think that one's just going to be fun to get. Gorky parked kill twenty five <laughs> enemies while you're standing on a control point you own. Purge killed 15 enemies capturing a control point you own. 
Let's see. Lend in a hand. Help five teammates get revenge on their enemies. That one, I, I, I don't know how often that happens. So, I mean, you don't ever, do you ever get um, a note when you help someone get revenge? No, it's a new detection tool. I'm telling no, you. I mean, um, I mean, that's not, I don't think that's a new detection tool so much as, you know, you get an assist and then it will say such and such has gotten revenge. So maybe that's it. Yeah. Um, five second plan, kill an enemy in the first five seconds after you exit a teleporter. <laughs> uh, that's cool. what? That sounds fun. How could you, um, because it takes like a second to second or two seconds to spin up your minigun. Pull out the shotgun oh, or that's, assist, I think. Uh, mm. You're t- telling me that you ever go on, uh, okay, you don't play heavy. Whenever I go on to a teleporter, that gun is spun up by the time I teleport. Okay. I always have the gun spun up prior to teleporting. Okay. So. Yeah, see, ooh, I didn't even um, know you could do that. Showed you. Yeah. And I'll admit it. <laughs> <laughs> Photo Stroika, provide an enemy with a freeze cam shot of you taunting while invulnerable. Nice. I don't think I have ever taunted while invulnerable. It just seems like a waste of time. <laughs> mm. And uh, here we get to uh, the next one. Conspicuous consumption. Eat 100 sandwiches. <laughs> so is this, what exactly is that? Is that a new um, taunt they're going to do or something? Or is they the, talking about uh, kills? We're the current rumor is that the um, secondary the weapon, the shotgun replacement, yeah. is going to be something called a sandwich. Ah, uh, and which uh, you know they they've said that they want to make the heavy less reliant on medics, so you can assume that you eat a sandwich and get some health back. Oh. Um, I uh, I don't know what I think about that. Hmm. Uh, we've only got two left, so let's hurry up. Don't touch sandwich. Kill 50 scouts using N- Natasha, which is the minigun replacement we'll get to here in a minute. And the Borscht Belt. Kill 10 heavies with the KGB. As we discussed early, the killing gloves of boxing. Farmable! <laughs> yeah. And that's all we got. Yeah. That's, that's it. Holy crap, there's a lot of those. Very cool. I, so, don't, I don't like the freeze cam achievements. I don't. I, I for some reason those annoy me. I like them. I, I thought they were kind of fun. A pain, but I think it's basically just there to get people to do start the, taking screenshots. The animation. I think they're. I think they're fun. I don't. I. I don't have a problem with them. Yeah. I mean, per se. <laughs> but now someone needs to go in and figure out. You got to get what twenty five of these. To unlock everything. Uh, Is that the old? Uh, I don't know. I think it's twenty four. Yeah. Twenty four. I think. Go and find the twenty four, twenty five best ones, easiest ones to farm, and write them down, and make a map designed on that, where you basically just run through like a little course. Like I said, I think I think Jazz already has it down. I think he's got a map for us ready. May not be designed specifically for it, but he's uh, he's done the work and uh, figured out which achievements we can get and what map would be best to get them. So, yeah. And I think it needs to have the hamster dance music playing in the background. Yeah. I agree. Stereo. So the the next point of data here that we got, they are releasing a new payload map. And this one is called Badwater Basin. I'm excited. And it features a bomb cart. Bomb cart will not push self. And uh, according to the description, it's uh, it's uh, less about choke points than uh, Gold Rush. So there's going to be a lot more wide open areas. I, I think that's interesting. I, I'd like to see. I, I'm, I'm excited about that. Snipers. We love this. Well, it's also going to be it's also <laughs> one where it's going to be about co- your team controlling the other team, not about you controlling the landscape. Right. Yeah. And yeah. getting and getting headshots. <laughs> um, and they also say that unlike uh, Gold Rush, uh, this is a single large stage with several checkpoints, as opposed to a Dust Bowl style, several small stages. So I think that's uh, what I like about it. Yeah, yeah, I like the stage maps, and you know, every once in a while, but you know, with it being one of the few payload maps, it's like the only way to do the payload really is to have stages. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, yeah. and I'd like to do a little quick action yeah hopefully they'll have some close quarters kind of in there too so you can change it up and use your kukri instead and and your kgb yeah <laughs> <laughs> <The> freaks 
<laughs> the uh, the next uh, uh, bullet point is Natasha, which is the minigun replacement, level 5 minigun. It has a 100% chance to slow target on hit, but it does 25% less damage. Mm. Discuss. She's hot. I am, uh, I think this is crazy i i don't know why they would they would create a um behavior altering weapon well it's it's like he's a frost mage now kind of <laughs> like with, with a self-healing yeah um <laughs> if the sandwich thing is true uh it's just it's weird i mean you can slow them down and shoot them potentially more uh making up for the fact that you have weaker bullets um, and use more ammo in the process. Don't forget that. Right, um, right. My opinion is that this is this weapon is uh, will have very specific uh, uses, and, and and that is if you're going to be playing a, a heavy the way I've always played it, which is sort of as an ambush class. There's no point to it. You you want to have the the higher damage to to kill as quickly as possible. Now, if you're playing more in a team atmosphere where you're jumping out on a lot of people then and you've got a lot of people backing you up, then this starts to shine more. Cuz yeah. I know people are saying that 25% isn't a lot um, when the, the minigun already does so much damage, but I, I disagree. That is a lot of damage. I mean, especially if you if you run into a heavy that does not have Natasha and still has Sasha and is doing that full 100% damage. Um, that's always an iffy fight to begin with, and, and this sort of swings it decidedly in one direction. Um, you know, this... I, I, I'm sorry. I don't know. I, 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 I want to play with it before I really say one way or the other if I like it. I'm thinking about this in kind of a class makeup uh, group, like say you're... Uh, um, okay, to get down to it, I think this weapon gives the your team some utility. There, not all classes um, offer utility to others, but uh, and by utility, you know, I mean uh, something that can, can benefit everyone, like a teleporter. That is um, a utility, you know? Uh, this one is utility in the sense that you are slowing someone down. Um, that helps everybody. A healer is is utility. You're you're able to gain something from someone else's you know ability. So um, you know not everyone is a utility class, but now it's starting to look like he is becoming one. Would you think? I mean, is that true? You think? Well, I think that's that's uh, like what you're saying. Uh, it helps out the whole team kill these people that he's hitting, slowing down. Yeah. So. Even though it's doing less damage, it's actually probably more deadly. Uh, yeah. Just because, it, like, imagine a pyro now. Just like, oh, you're all slow. Time yeah. to die. And, and and there are things that we don't know yet. We don't know how long the slow effect lasts. Um, so, you know, we'll, we'll have to wait and see exactly how effective this is in, 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 other, in, in all kinds of situations. I think it's neat what Valve is doing now. Um, by giving people some some utility or some I've said utility like fifty times, um, <laughs> you know areas to uh, you know benefit others. Like I mean, you know, like we always say, Team Fortress has team in it. it we're a team. We should be helping each other. I mean, you can be a, a spy and go out and solo. It, you're you're not. I mean, I wouldn't say really sapping a a, a sentry is really beneficial to everyone else. It, it, you're just killing someone just like a sniper mm-hmm. would be killing someone, but I would like to see some benefit, some skill or some, you know, I don't know. I, I think every class should have something to offer the team so that you don't just go out and solo like a demo man. He could go out and solo. He's not giving any benefit benefits to anyone. You know what I mean? Okay. Other, other than just being a killer, but we don't want, I don't really want a a game like that. You know, that's kind of, it's kind of old school. It's kind of quay, kind of, you know what I mean? This is, yeah. this one I feel is very, you know. Now, the one thing I do find out about this is it seems like even in their, their paragraph here that they talk about it, that they really think you should be switching back and forth a lot. Oh, yeah. Um, and it, it just seems like so clunky to switch between weapons like that. It that, does. And, I mean, don't you have to be, like, either in a 
you know, a changing room or dead or something. You have something. to, you have to, yeah, you have to respawn essentially. So it's, it, I, that seems odd to me. I don't know. Maybe they should make a way to switch them. Yeah, faster. something on the HUD. Maybe a little button. Maybe something but, that asks you, would you like to switch weapons when you spawn? I don't know. Something. It, yeah, I mean, it almost seems like that they didn't. Well, I mean, it does do that when you win, when you that, win the you know, achievement. Yeah. It does do that. It says, well, "Do you want to?" You know. Yeah, but that's the only time. That's yeah. the only time. I, I I do think that a a heavy with uh, Natasha and a heavy with Sasha teamed up is a very scary thing. <laughs> um, I think two heavies period with medics is a scary thing. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, but yeah, I also be... think that this is. Um, that <laughs> Natasha is a lot more workable with the Kritzkrieg than than Sasha. Yeah, mm -hmm. I do. And, and you know, at that point, the damage differential doesn't matter because you're critting with every shot, and uh, and you're slowing everyone down. So I, I, it just seems like a nasty combination to me. Or I guess the KGB that would be pretty cool too. The yeah. comment that I saw w uh, in the forums was that the that Natasha will be really nasty for people trying to circle strafe and kill the heavy. That that's going to really slow that down a little bit, and I thought that was kind of an interesting point. I, I think rather than putting the slow in, I, you know, if, if you're going to create something teamy for the heavy, um, I, what I would have thought would have been interesting was to give the heavy some kind of blocking mechanism. Perhaps if you're using a particular weapon, you provide partial cover for the allies that are in your immediate vicinity so that every five points of damage that you t that they take, you take, you know, one of it. OK, you know what I'm saying? So you're like yeah, a, you, you're, you've got you send kind of a kind of valve? like a command aura sort of thing. Did you send that to Valve when they requested input on the heavy? I'm going to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a good point, Spencer, because. Anyone here listening to this show, if, if you've sent something to Valve, um, offering up your ideas on heavy stuff like that, we would like to hear if you could send us an MP3 or a call. We would love to hear what your your you know what you propose to Valve, and and certainly if someone has actually proposed that they need bullets that slow down enemies, we would love to hear from you because how did they yeah. think that up? You know. Or how many really? people actually, was there like a hundred people that just happened to want slow and they're like, okay, no let's idea. give it to them, you know, weird. <laughs> but, uh, that's all the, that's all the information we have on the heavy update so far. Of course, by the time, uh, this episode releases, we'll have both the last two pieces of information and the release, uh, the update itself. So, uh, everything that we have just said may sound incredibly stupid. We, there is one, <laughs> isn't there a new map type coming up? There is. It, uh, they haven't talked about it yet. But the, evidently there's a new map type. Uh, I think we're going to hear about that tomorrow, probably. I hope okay. so. Yeah. And then the sandwich will come on Tuesday. Yeah. So we yeah. have two yeah. more things. What can they be? Well, cool. Oh, uh, one th last thing about Natasha. It says level five. It is a level five gun, in case you were wondering. <laughs> That's very important. I'm glad that you told me that. Because a level four I Natasha I, sucks. I thought the uh, I, main I, weapon I, was a level ten. No, the main weapon is level one for everyone. No, I meant like uh, say the uh, uh, the Kritzkrieg. Isn't it level ten? Oh, I don't remember. The Kritzkrieg. I, I. This is the first non-level ten one that we've seen. So, so, so maybe this isn't actually replacing Sasha. Maybe that's uh, how you can switch gun. back and forth. Uh, maybe it replaces the shotgun. No, I, no, I, I Cause that would be your level five, good. wouldn't it? I, you, we don't know what the levels mean. They have not told us, so that's pure speculation. But what's interesting, it. though, is they, they made a point <laughs> to say the new Natasha gun is a level five minigun. They, they, they made it really prominent right here in their, in their picture. So, well, it's almost as if to be we fair, this know. is the first time. This is the first time we've had one of these updates like this, so yeah. maybe if they'd done it for the pyro, then we would have seen level 10 on the uh, back burner as well. So, That's true. you know, who knows? I mean, I hope they don't expect us to know what, what is going on, because no one's explained it to us yet. I think they're you know, being that's another thing. obtuse. Hmm. That's another thing. With the pyro, the, uh, their, his uh, default flamethrower got some changes as well. I wonder if the uh, default minigun Sasha is going to get changes. Hmm. Mm. It's a big mystery. Mm. Curiouser and curiouser. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, uh, I guess we So can... that's all we know about that, isn't it? Or do we want to keep blabbing I about it? I think that's about it. Yeah. 
So okay, any, anything else well, we say is hearsay, and and it'll be it will sound even stupider when the patch yeah. comes out. So <laughs> no, I hear that the uh, the heavy is actually getting a chicken that it can ride around on. Sweet. Um, oh, but like and, a and now I think there's going to be level thirty that you get the chicken. Oh, nice. Oh, 30? Wow, 30 nice. Chicken. Yep. Double XP. <laughs> nice. So we got an email. So let's move on to let's move on to some of these discussions here. This first one. Yeah, I think uh, I'd like to read that one. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Wes. You know what? This is from You've been waiting for this for a long time. So go ahead. This is from Stuart Stone, and he asks CP, which class would you replace Spencer with? <laughs> and I you know, I'm thinking um the hobo. Or the street prostitute class would be good to replace Spencer with. Nice. I would probably like to replace Spencer with the train. Okay. Uh, okay. I would just do the nipple class. It'd be nice to just see nipples on the monitor when we do the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about you, Spencer? What would you replace you with? Huh. You know, I've been thinking about this ever since I saw the email, say and nipples. Um, say nipples. I can't come up with something that's both self-deprecating and funny. Uh, Hel- Helis think- Poe thinks that you should be replaced with the chief. Nipples. Ah, oh, the chief. <laughs> say nipples. Um, replace your say nipples. Um, How about a one hundred dollar bill? Say, I think that that I should be replaced with um, nipples. <laughs> with robot Spencer. Nice. Oh, nipples. there you go. I can dig that. Nipples. Hmm. <laughs> a, a robot Spencer with nipples. Is this is this next question from the same person? No. Um. The what would yes, you actually. may want to replace oh. the snipers oh, with? No, wait, this... Too damn useless SMG yes, with to make yes. him more of a flexible class. That is the same person. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I. I I don't think the SMG is useless. I don't either. So, We've okay. covered it. We Some Thanks people have question. commented that it's actually very deadly. Yeah. I get killed by it. Yeah, and I've said before, I like the SMG. I, I like the reload time. I like the amount of bullets. I like the firing rate. I don't see any reason not to Now, it. I do agree that the uh, sniper is not a flexible class. Um, so we'll have to see what happens on the sniper update. I oh. think I'm happy. Yeah. Yeah. He gives no utility to others, but maybe he would. <laughs> <laughs> maybe the next Let's one will have another. Oh, you know, SMG. it would be awesome be if same. he had a command aura over the whole board. And so when we shot other people, the sniper took damage. That would <laughs> rule. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. I think he, he should have another SMG in the update. And it'll be the sexy man, which glue. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll spit it out all over the uh, ground, and people. I get think stuck. you should just leak eyeball fluid all over the place. Uh, the fluid. next question is from Andrew. Um, he says, "Hey, my name is Andrew Destruder." I think Destruder? I think someone loves to see out there. <laughs> Destructor, maybe? Yeah, Destructor. I recently downloaded one of your podcasts and listened to it on my iPod. It was great. I would like to join your clan. Don't we cover this all the time? Yes, but we should cover it again. <laughs> okay, someone else do it. I did it last time. Uh, he wants to join our clan. And, it is uh, Destruder. He, um, it is? We, uh, we don't really... It's not really a clan. It's, <laughs> a it's more like a... It's just a, we're a community. Yeah, um, we're too democratic to put any of this author- authoritarian crap in place. Yeah, you don't have to fill out an application. Uh, you don't have to show us how awesome you are. You can just... Uh, um, put a little CP tag at the end of your name that just throws a shout out, lets other people know that you listen to the show and that you have something in common. Maybe you in come fact, to forums. We've learned that a lot of people who use the CP tag don't even listen to the show. It just means that you're vaguely associated with the community. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it means you, maybe you're on the forums. Uh, you know, it, it's just a tag. Um, yeah. Once you're in the forums, uh, you can uh, post and maybe get in, into someone's uh, squad. And, and um, speaking of squads and forums, um, there's a change we're doing on the forums right now instead of making them i mean we're still making them forums but instead of setting up a whole group for them mm-hmm. we're just putting a password on those forums so then they enter that password and they get in okay so any new squads that are in there they're doing it that way now okay also um we we do have a a, a new requirement uh before you can put cp on your te- on your on your name uh you have to send me 10 dollars okay but I'm waiting. I know it's coming. Dun, dun. And by him, he means me. <laughs> dun dun. All right, <laughs> we got a we got a new email here. Another one. We just got a bag full of these uh, you- alongside the dirty diapers. We have one from Ziggy, and Ziggy says this. 
What are your opinions on skins in TF2? I like to use them for weapons that I rarely use, but for my common weapons, I like to keep the original textures. I think that character skins should not be used. Why is there a question mark after that? <laughs> okay, so know. really the question is, you know, what do we think about skins? So the guy's going to be nice enough to ask a question. You're going to make fun of his punctuation. I, I totally did. Sorry, Ziggs. <laughs> um, <laughs> sure. Uh, so, um, I don't know. I, I like TF2 skins. Um, the only one I'm currently running right now is the Female Scout. I've been doing that ever since it was released. So I f- kind of forgot what the Male Scout even looks like. Um <laughs> Uh, I have no problem with that. Um, we need to get the audio in there for it, though. The audio? Yeah, for the female Yeah, actually, scout. there was a oh, thread yeah. this week Voices. about... There was a thread, I think it was Ifrit posted, about trying to get facial animations so we could do lip syncing as well. So so that could be interesting. Yeah. Um, there, I know there's been a number of uh, CP scans, such as uh, replacements for the little 3D hologram that hovers above control points. Also, there was one for the uh, the scout or the spy equipment that just got posted yeah, this week too, which is really good looking stuff. I I, I might actually use those, and actually I've been tr- wanting to get around to replacing those control points with the little hovering one. One so one's Uber servers and one's control point. Uh, <laughs> um, also, yeah, I wish we could somehow make it where when people logged into our servers, that's what they used. Yeah, um, but I don't think there's any way to passively like push those. Could also you the like West make a, a copy of all the maps and, and change the entities in there or something? I don't know. <laughs> We'd have to redistribute the maps. It'd be kind of hairy. But I, I know uh, long ago there was some West uh, stuff, like a West bottle and uh, uh, melee weapons. And yeah, the things Demo like Man that. bottle had, was all pink and had my picture on it. I so. think we just need hearts. a full-on-out CP mod. <laughs> okay. Oh, like a total Skin conversion? Skin for everything? Yeah. Um, maybe even some change in the gameplay. Like, get, get rid of snipers. Hey, that's the first change. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We put the female scout in, things like that. <laughs> maybe and spies will periodically sneeze while they're cloaked? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> or blow up. <laughs> they can just blow up. The uh, the only thing I have a problem, really, with uh, skins is, like, hacks. You know, like the invisible yeah. skins or, you yeah. know, crap like that it sucks. But I, I have... I, I like... Go ahead. Okay. I, I like to look at skins and and stuff like that, but as far as putting them in the game, I you know I can't really be bothered. I, I just mm. there's I not an easy way to clever, do it, but yeah. And you got to mess with your own stuff to mess with. I mean, it it seems very. It seems like a big deal to me. You know, like to put a skin in, like basically means I'm changing the game and I have to exit the program and delete stuff and do weird stuff to get it back to the way it was. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know, just this, this past week I saw, Oh look, someone replaced the scouts bat with a big black dildo. That's great. <laughs> I'm not putting it in my game though. Classy. <laughs> what did he name it? <laughs> he named it bonk. <laughs> um, but you know, it's, it's to me, I, I like the idea of skins and perhaps if there was a way that you could casually put them in, like if there was some way to, you know, do almost it, like it was, changing your spray yeah, or changing your weapons. I I'm still frustrated that you can't change your spray. Like you, you have to like change levels to change your spray. I think that's ridiculous. They they really need to just make something in the game where you say, okay, I want this JPEG or PNG, you know, some yeah. really common files is my spray, and if it's the wrong size, then do like a little, you know, frame and frame, and you move the frame around until it's the right size, or, yeah. you know, it makes it the right size. I mean, it seems like they could have that kind of built in and make it much easier than, you know, hey, we need a BMTQRP file. Yes. But I, I don't <laughs> use skins because it's such a big deal to put them in. It's a big deal to take them out. Um, I, I don't mind them, except for, you know, the hacks thing, because, you know, if... But, I mean, it also forces certain servers to have to go SV Pure if they don't want to have to deal with a lot of hackers. Which means you don't get to use your skins anyway. Yeah. Dun, dun. <laughs> so there we have it. Something like that. All right. Well, the next uh, email next. we've got here is from uh, Zach Vidal. He has three questions for us. The third one is for you, Wes. Number one. Can a projectile from the soldier slash demo man slash pirate's flare gun be hit in midair by another projectile from the opposite team of the same class? I think that is a decided negative. Yes. As far as I know, the only thing that can intercept a projectile is the air blast. Mm-hmm. I vote, I vote for that. 
Number two, can a sniper's bullet travel through a player into another behind them, as seen in the Meet the Sniper video? No. No, yes. because that's happened before many times where a yeah. guy right in front of you gets sniped, and you're like, wow, yeah. time to run. Better you than me. Yeah, that's a meat <laughs> shield. As far as I know, a bullet can only hit one person ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Number three. Can the Pyro's Taunt instant kill a building? Can it kill more than one person slash building at once? I think the answer to that is no and no. The reason I would think it's no is because the Pyro Taunt is probably a crit. Do you agree with me? Mm. Maybe. And you cannot crit buildings? I think it would just be cheap as hell, so... yes. (laughs) Yeah. Let's see. And, uh... Also, he had a question... Uh, asked during a clan practice for gunslingers, I guess that's a clan, and I decided to test it out. The question was, can you instant kill using the spy's knife if you are Kritzkrieged? The answer so, is yes, according to him. Face stabs for the win. I guess the mm-hmm. the backstab is basically a, a crit, so, yeah, I don't see why that wouldn't work. I mean, face wrenching works, face... Uh, <laughs> Face kukering would probably work. Mm, face face wrenching. Mm. Gooing. <laughs> I did that a lot this week. Face boxing. I wrenched you know, a lot of so. people. Mm-hmm. Man, I love face you guys. Boxing. Why? Y'all are following the new the new procedure in the doc that I asked y'all to do. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Move on. Is that all the uh is that all the on the, the loudspeaker that we've got? Yes. That's it. Cool. Yeah. Let's move on. Reconnaissance. To- Oh no! There's no Did you just want to skip by it? You just wanted to skip by. Yeah, it. Yeah, I just was going to skip by it since we're not talking. We we have no map to skip. Yeah, but it's so much. You know what map I want to talk in. about? I want to talk about Two Fort because I haven't played it in months. I we have. should just talk about it. Ah, <laughs> oh, Two Fort! Wow. How I love thee. Let me count the ways. Yeah, I remember when I played Two Fort. Elbows. I remember I, that one time in the uh, flag room when you were setting up all your engineer stuff, and I came in and spy sapped it. Oh, that was good, good times. times. So let's move on to listener contributions. Do we have a thread of the week? Has I, anyone I miss decided? those engineering doodads. And then there was that time you put your damn thing on the briefcase and I accidentally picked it up and it blew me to shreds. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> dun, dun. Okay, anyway. Then there's that time I ran into the grate and then you jumped <laughs> down crap. behind Why me. Why did I bring this up? Brett is never going to shut up about it. Is that the middle grate? The, yes. The oh, upper grate. Or the, was it the upper grate? The, I don't remember the names. Was it the left grate or the right grate? I like the negative four grate. That's my favorite grate. I called the uh, the vents and turbine the sewers the other night. Man, they Ooh. they would not let it die. You should listen to this <laughs> uh, podcast that we make every week. I, and then I started saying the stuff was in the elbow. Oh, still get a lot of elbow jokes. People think Are that's going to do the listener contributions or. Um, yeah. Sorry, we were reminiscing. <laughs> Back in the day when we played two fort. Do we have a thread of the week or not? I don't know. Um, we, do, we, uh, we do not have a thread of the week. We, uh, there, there was uh, something about uh, doing the um, the idiots of CP. Oh, yeah, um, that's right. Which is basically just a, a, a quick uh, a machinima where it's just, um, it's like quick cuts of just uh, silly things that you do in... in, in uh, well, it comes from there's the idiots of Gary's mod. Right. Where basically a bunch of people who made Gary's Mod videos got together and made a machinima of all their wacky Gary's Mod stuff. So the idea is all the people who are into Gary's Mod on um, Control Point servers uh, need to get together and do some Gary's Mod stuff and make the idiots of Gar- of Control Point. Yeah, and this was started by Hellas Poe. Um, he's just kind of getting... Uh, he had 15 slots open for uh, people to join a uh, uh, a Gary's Mod uh, server, I guess, and just get on there and just raise hell and record it and just, you know, make it crazy. Uh, but I'm sure if you can offer maybe little clips or whatever, anyway, um, get kind of, uh, uh, involved in that project. Sounds pretty fun to me. So I uh, will link to that. Um, didn't I also read about someone starting up a, uh, control point Gary's mod server? It might be in that. Yeah. Direction. Yeah. Um, yes, yes. They, oh man, they were uh, messaging us in the uh, chat the other night and vent, and they were going to put a thread up about it. Since I am duly um, oblivious to Gary's mod, I, I I ignored the entire thread. 
Uh, well, that's not nice. Uh, Eric and I were in a, a Black Temple at the time, so we couldn't really. Talk that's true. So we much. were in Black Temple, downing the first <laughs> boss. It was awesome. Um, but uh, yes, yeah, Signot has uh, started the thread. Um, maybe we should link to that one too. We got a lot of threads to link to. Sure. Maybe. Uh, and that is about the Gary's mod server number one. Yeah. Next. Let's see, the next contribution we have, this is something that I think just got posted today. It is a Team Fortress 2 fanfic uh, called Scout's Day Off. It's by Random Inuyasha. Is this uh, is this Scout Heavy Slash? No, it is not. It is... Uh, <laughs> Um, he actually <laughs> made mention of the fact that he had, uh, he had, you know, only read one other, uh, fanfic and it was erotic in nature, uh, which kind of is absolutely terrifying to me, but you know, moving on, um, <laughs> I did, did anyone else read it? No, no, I didn't see it till today. Um, just the post. <laughs> it's kind of clever. It's, uh, it, 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 could you know like most fanfics it could use a little little editing um and uh the the joke the 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 punchline of the story sort of is is you can see it coming a mile away but it actually got me thinking about writing team fortress 2 fanfics so nice uh, he may have started something here <laughs> are you going to do pyro spy slash i I don't do slash. I will not ever do slash. I will. I, I don't even really know what slash means, except it's something that I do not want. So how about some pyro furry? <laughs> yes. I'll be down with that. Take uh, off the, the, mask. the pyro yeah. could be a furry. Yeah, it mm -hmm. could be. Yeah. Pyro has yeah. a tail. Yif in hell, oh, pyro. Hey. Anyway, right there. <laughs> What's this next thing? I don't know what this is. Um, oh, uh, yes, there is a new podcast. <clears throat> it's called, uh, the Intel by Uber toast. And I really think you should go check it out. They are on episode three. It is a general gaming and team fortress two podcast. And I think you should go check it out and we will link it in the show notes. Hey, cool. Yes. I will only listen to it. If there's at least two minutes of age of Conan talk per episode. Mm -hmm. And I, so. I, I guess we just got a, a new question in. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. For, uh, From the chat Spencer room? here. Hey guys, Alex AL3X from the CP community. I was just wondering what Spencer's group Digital Tirade was about and if it was private since only a few people in it, including the CP hosts. Um, well, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's pretty much private, but, uh, uh, Digital Tirade is a uh, website that is uh, currently down that, uh, my friend, uh, the Reverend Waylon H. Hamilton, uh, <laughs> did. Uh, and, uh, we did it for a lot of years. It was basically just a sort of humor blog type thing. And, uh, yeah, Th there's really not too much to say. You I, hardware I would send reviews. you to the site. We did a few hardware reviews. We did some movie reviews. We did some video game reviews. We actually got quoted on Harmonix's website uh, for our review of, uh, of frequency, which was pretty cool. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, it, it, it's kind of it's it's sort of in flux right now, so I don't really have you know. There's nothing to show you, so so please move move on, move on. Nothing yeah, to see that, here. That's that. <laughs> there was a time when digital tirade used to be up against nailhead.org. Yeah, which was dun, my dun, dun, dun. is that uh, the guy you're always have... talking about, Eric? Yeah, you said you're gonna kick his ass. Uh -huh. I never saw it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we did. We had a couple of uh, uh, digital tirade versus nailhead land parties. That uh, I, I had to say, Eric, your people never really represented. In yeah. any real force. I, I was gonna say I, when when you said that, I was like, who in nailhead community really like games a lot? Like that goes to yeah, like, like land one parties. or two people. I, I see digital tirade Tom. sitting there at tables with computers did. and uh, Eric. Yeah, Tom did. Yeah. Sitting across um, from him. great. But yeah, that was uh that was that was about ten years ago. So, so when are we gonna have our land party? Yeah, we are going to have one tonight, and tonight. no one's invited except for the hosts. We're gonna we're gonna play by ourselves. No, I don't know. Sweet. No um, how about uh, a Fritz question of the week? Hey there, Ifrit here for his question of the week. This week's question is: Which class would be which piece on a chessboard? Uh, yeah. See you. So, which class would be which piece on the chessboard? 
Oh my wow. god, that's hard. Uh, <laughs> are, are we doing it by movement or like uh, power or or by looks? Well, I, I think like I think the queen would have to be the scout. Really? Think so because the because the scout I was moves the so pawn quick. Should pawn. be the scout. Be in pawn. The fragile. Yeah, but the 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 pawn or maybe the oh, horse. The pawn is or whatever they call him. The knight. Oh, oh it could be the knight. Yeah, it. could be the knight. zigzags. Okay, yeah, scout for the knight. That's good. I think the heavy would have to be the rook. Hmm. Well, I could sort of see that. I think that okay. the king would have to be the medic because everybody's trying to kill him. I was thinking the ah. queen would be the medic. I, I think the queen's the pyro. I kind of like the king okay. as the, the medic. King's the, I'm, I'm going king medic. Cause see, I've got another theory about the pyro and the uh... the demo. The demo man is definitely the bishop. Oh, the spy is the because he drinks right. I don't know. Spies? Spies? I'm, thinking, I'm thinking the. Is that kind of weird? Maybe I'm, bishops. I don't know. I'm thinking the knight might be the spy since he moves so wonky. You know, yeah. getting behind lines, mm -hmm. jumping over, getting behind you. Yeah, true. Okay. And then that moves a uh, scout maybe over the, to pawns. Maybe the queen. You no, know, we have more classes than there are chess pieces. So Yes. Maybe the queen is, well, the, yeah. <laughs> is the sniper. Just uh. all the way across the board. Bam! Nice. See, but here, okay, you know the pyro has a, uh, a uh, purse in the locker? Mm-hmm. I, I think the pyro is a queen. Could be. So I think we should just make the pyro a queen. Okay. Okay. I'm good with that. <laughs> well. Okay. Fine. Well, good. We figured that one out. Yeah. That was easy. Thanks for that question <laughs> there, Ifrit. Yeah. Uh, as always. Um, let's see. What else we got? Are we, are we Are we done? We have no surveillance. Unless you want to talk we about no it a little bit more. Conan. Oh, yeah. We, we forgot the soldiers, too. The soldiers. No. The I soldiers would say soldiers or pawns. That, that's what someone else is saying. Yeah. We oh we had I think um, what I'm sorry didn't mean to go back but the engineer could be the pawn because all these little toys are mm, oh, yeah, the, the pawns why did I forget about engineer that? doodads are the pawns mm. good point good point uh, okay, anyway um so uh, maybe the you... third in third pawn from the left is the engineer <laughs> and the first pawn on the left is his in teleporter entrance. And the oh second God, one there's from the left. Eyeball fluid leaking out of my <laughs> eye. <laughs> or maybe the king could be the engineer. Because he just kind of sits there most of the time. What class would be the different checkers? Yeah, but checker I don't think board. anybody really cares about killing the engineers. Yeah. Yeah, only because you have to get by them, right? That's the only reason you can. Yeah. So killing the king wins the game. So, yeah. I don't know. You know, I saw a really awesome um, Aliens vs. Predator chess set today that I would buy if it wasn't $300. Jeez. Totally Totally awesome. Oh my gosh. I, I just have a hard time believing it's awesome. <gasps> so uh, I wanted to say that we had a bunch of questions and calls and comments and things like that that came through uh, Skype um, th uh, last week and, and a couple of following weeks. We, we don't really have time each episode to play everything, um, but uh, recently uh, we have lost um, some data, so... If you have called in or asked a question and we haven't gotten to it yet, we will never get to it because it is gone, it is deleted. We're sorry, but um, just go ahead and call us again with whatever it was, and we will get back on the train and put the stuff up. We'll so. teach you fools for calling in. And if, you, <laughs> and if you ever happen to hack Eric's computer and copy all of our original CP data, um, we'd like a copy of it, please. Yeah, yeah, we, we lost some data, and which means I, I can't go back and, and create outtakes. Um, which actually it was, is another little thing I wanted to say. Um, if, uh, if you join the forums and please do, um, uh, we always throw out a little extra things like outtakes. There's, there's a couple of different episodes with outtakes and, uh, stupid little songs that we sing and, you know, just stuff like that. That's kind of thrown around in the forums and it's like bonus content that you can get to, but on the, on the same note, um, not a lot of back bonus content will be created from now on unless I can restore this data. <laughs> uh, so anyway, freezer, freezer. Yeah. Put the hard drive in the freezer. Well, I, I, I will say I am not doing the outro this week cause you know, it, it really took me out, took it out of me to do it so quickly last week. So um, someone else has to do it. Yeah. We do have a shout out. We have a shout out to Johnny Napalm for making good progress on the episode guides for the CP book. Oh, yeah, those right. are really uh, entertaining. And he's recovering really from surgery. Them. And speaking of the CP book, Mr. Eagleson in Word, and he would uh, like us to fit this in. Um, he, he's only got three episodes left. 
for reviews. So yes. if you're interested in doing those, get in touch with Mr. Eagle and the thread, I think, on the forums. He wants to make this Does a community count? project, and he wants people involved so that the same person isn't writing all of the episode guides. Yeah. Speaking Is of, he counting this episode? or? Well, that's true. Well, we also have the ones that we're supposed to do. Uh, the, oh, uh, yeah. Are we supposed uh, to, what? Are we supposed to do them? Oh, my God. What are we supposed to do? 10 and 24? Yeah, I think it was uh, special episodes. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I've enjoyed reading these. Uh, these are pretty fun. Um, did you? Uh, I love that arguments between Wes and Spencer is a, is a whole category. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a notable thing that happens every episode. That makes me giggle. In fact, um, Wes sent an email to uh, uh, who are we talking about? Johnny here? Napalm. Johnny Napalm saying that he loved that category, and I sent an an email back that said, I think that category is stupid. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so uh, let's see here. We got a player of the week. No. Player of the week. No, we've got no player of the week. I do have a nomination from the chat room. I thought we did have one. You mm-hmm. should look at your document. We have one. <laughs> oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh my our goodness. player of the week. Wow. Is Hellas Poe for the Idiots of CP? Yes, we, Yay, would, we would like po. to see that, that machinima. That would be very cool. So, player of the week, Hellas Poe. Is it Hellas or Helis? Helis, maybe. I don't know. Because isn't Helis like for the sun? Oh. Mm. I think it's Mija. Helis is for medics. Helis? Helis? No. I think, I think. All right. Uh, also, um, a quick thing I uh, just saw here. It was a quote from. Uh, uh, let's see, where am I at in my little document here? This was uh, something from uh, from Johnny Napalm. <laughs> While I was talking about Pink Eye and, and having a hard time playing TF2, he says, uh, you should try playing TF2 on Percocet and your arm in a sling. Uh, I hope your uh, surgery goes okay, and uh, I guess um, I feel kind of like a, a wuss not playing TF2 now. Although playing <laughs> anything on Percocet is actually kind of fun. <laughs> Uh, Wee! <laughs> okay, so I'm going to drive us out of here. All it's right. time for us to go. Yeah, this has been the most rambly, rambly ending ever. Drive us out. Update the control. Ricky Page, dig us. Join our MySpace group. Give us iTunes reviews. Stumble upon us. Join the Steam community. Join the Control Point forums. Listen to TF Tunes. Two tunes or parodies on controlpoint.luxtape.com. <laughs> Look up Winsor Coperton on Facebook. Look up Nailhead, Devil Turnip, Chaos underscore CP, or Wes Wilson on Twitter. Or call us at 256-513-4772. Or you can listen to our other podcasts on the Dead Workers Party Network, such as Trailer Trash Talk, Random Chatter, Lost Chatter, Movie Chatter, Zero Show, World of Wow, Cyber Mole for one more episode. Wow, I didn't know tech you could chatter. talk that Tech fast. Chatter. Uh, did I say that? Don't one? forget Tech Chatter. Oh, Tech Chatter, yeah. I actually, I, I, they, they uh, yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! Done! Delicious! I Let's had no do idea it. you could speak that fast. Why? That yes. Like, Why did you have to here. copy my whole method of, of outro, Wes? Jeez. Well, you know, I happen to like micro machines, and I don't know why you're talking that way. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we'll uh, we'll be back next week, and we will be talking about heavy. It's really dun, good to see. You. I hope you guys join us next time for dun, the dun, great dun, far. Make it, make it, make it! Dun, 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 dun. You are now at the end of another episode of Control Point. Victory! Woo-hoo-hoo! Every one of you deserves a medal. A podcast brought to you by the Dead Workers Party. See the show notes and leave comments for this episode at controlpoint.deadworkers.com or leave us a voicemail at area code 256-513-4772. Al Wiedersehen! Hi, this is Will Freeze from Ubercharged or bracket C13 unbracket Dr. Girlfriend in game. Uh, I started listening to your podcast a little while ago, so I'm a little behind in episodes, so I'm, I'm really sorry if this has been addressed already, but it's been bugging the crap out of me since episode six, and I'm a bit of a weapons geek, so I just want to let you guys know that it's not kukri, it's kukri, kukri, three syllables, okay? Um, it's a weapon from Nepal, not Australia, and uh, it's very similar to a machete, and it was first used as a farming tool before the Gurkhas or uh, Nepalese soldiers use them in combat. So the more you know. <laughs> uh, great show, guys, and uh, keep it up. Bye. Hey, Control Point. This is Aku, a.k.a. I Drink Your Milkshake. And I just um, wanted to say um, I don't think you included it in the spy episode, but um, I recently found out that um, if you press B, after you try and stab someone, um, it goes back to your previous disguise. 
And I just thought this was pretty convenient. So um, it doesn't speed up the cloaking time any more than it usually does. But, um, yeah, it just um, I just thought I should add that. So um, thanks. Love the podcast. So bye. Hey, this is Hector leaving a message for Control Point. Um, just had a little tip for Matt and Pyros on the uh, final cap of Dust Bowl. Uh, if you are, uh, if the opponent is past the door coming from uh, Blue Spawn, the uh, door that if you go under it, you go under the bridge uh, right next to the cap. Um, a red pyro with a back burner can go right under there and just devastate the entire red team and just kill everybody. I love the show, guys, and I'll see you guys later. Hey, Control Points, this is Ziggy. Uh, I have a uh, tip for you. As a spy, don't be afraid to use your revolver. Uh, it's actually much more powerful than many people realize, and a couple of shots can take down a, a lower health class, such as the scout, very easily. Uh, thanks. Uh, keep up the good work. Bye. Hey guys, this is Abattoir. Uh, long time listener, first time caller. I got a suggestion for some map discussion, which I know you guys love map discussion, but um, the map's called Canal Zone, and it's a new game type. It's Domination, and it's really good. Um, that's all. Thanks guys for the podcast. Great work. Talk to you later. Hey, this is Nectroid. I was listening to Podcast 43, and I noticed you mentioned that somebody had listened on average to about two and a half hours a day. And not to sound like a cocky scout or anything, but that's nothing. Um, I currently work scanning blueprints, so basically it's me in a small room surrounded by papers, hitting a button repeatedly over and over. And I spend, I spend the, entire, the last two weeks just constantly listening to Podcast X Podcast. And in response to your question of which is worse, I actually thought the Where's Wes Wilson was probably the one that I liked the least. It just didn't seem to have that dynamic. And um, I had a few questions. One of them is, what do you think is the best kill you've ever made? For me personally, it's backstabbing a cloak spy. Um, and what is the best killing spree you've had, probably an Uber. I know as Pyro multiple times, I've had almost the entire enemy team lit on fire at the same time. And lastly, have you ever been to an area, looked at it, kind of taken it in and gone, wow, that would make a really good map to have a control point there, the red base would be here, respawn over there. Actually, can I have that a lot? But yeah, hopefully you hear in the podcast. Bye. Um, hey, Control Point, this is I Drink Your Milkshake once again, and I'm sorry that I've been jamming your phone lines because um, my ADD has apparently been sapping my brain, and it makes me forget that I've called you ten times today. So you can blame my ADD. You can blame my ADD for me calling you constantly. You can blame my ADD. So thanks. Bye. <laughs> Control point. Episode 372, recorded on January 27th, 1975. I'm Brent Copeland, I'm Eric Fullerton, I'm Wes Wilson, I'm Spencer Williams. What is in the motherfucking briefcase?